Welcome to NationalEnquirer.com. I'm your host, Dorothy Cassisari, and today we are here with the famous Ernest Borgnine. Well, you've certainly had a very, very exciting career and an exciting life, and now you have this, this book out, uh, Ernie, the Autobiography. Called Ernie, yeah. Whoever would have thought that little old Ernie Borgnine would end up in motion pictures, you know? It's crazy, crazy. I had come on the second night of the, uh, of the shooting, and we were up in the Bronx, and suddenly there came a tap on the shoulder. And I looked around and said, hey, uh, you the guy who killed Frank Sinatra? I said, fellas, it was just a, a picture, you know. And they were all Italians. Okay. And they're very devoted to Frank Sinatra. Of course. And one of them spoke up and says in Italian, you know, let's beat the hell out of them. And I said, oh, momento. You know, I spoke in Italian to them, and I said, hey, listen, I'll take you on one at a time, but please, you know, you're Italian? So from then on, they had nothing but jugs of wine for me and pizza and everything else. But that one fellow in the back wow. still kept saying, I still think we ought to beat the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gave it a chance. And after the first year, it, it, hey, they said, kind of liked it, you know? And bam, first thing you know, it took off. And, and then one day I get a call from uh, Mr. Warner, who is the, who is the head of um, the Navy and, uh, you know, uh -huh. the armed forces. And he said, I'd like to have lunch with you. And I said, uh, what is this all leading up to, sir? He said, I just want to congratulate you. He said, you're the best recruiter we've ever had. Oh, and I wow. said, why? I, he said, because the fellas coming into the Navy want to go into the McHale's Navy. Red Buttons and I had been uh, taken in by uh, Irwin Allen, who was the producer. Right. And we were given a contract before the picture ever started. He, he was a wonderful guy. Uh, and But the very first morning he came to work, uh, I guess he'd forgotten about learning lines. See, in, in French Connection, they made up their lines as they went along. But here we had a script. Right. And so everybody uh, was doing a scene and uh, rehearsing, and it got to him. And he looked at me and he said, are we supposed to know these lines? I said, that's a general idea. <laughs> they said, oh, look at this. Ernest Borgnine playing the devil. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, there was a, a young kid in the movie uh, by the name of John Travolta. John right? Travolta. I was so happy for him later. And, uh, and then later on, I had the opportunity to work with not only his brother, who was a director, and, of course, his sister, who was also an actress. Mm. And beautiful, beautiful people. Well, your voice becomes the actor. And uh, I don't know how it all happened, but suddenly I came out one time, you know, evil, you know? <laughs> Everybody said, yeah, hold that, that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, the best part is uh, when you, if they could film it, it would be marvelous because we go in all kinds of gyration, yeah, yeah, you know, and you're trying to get out this, this thing that comes from your voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a riot. Now, you mentioned your wife, Tova. How many years have you been married? A while, right? We've been married now going on 36 years. This coming February. That is and impressive. And I tell you, uh, she is the joy of my life. And I recently saw a cartoon and said, these two people have been married forever. And they're having a wonderful, wonderful life. And what's the, what's the secret of their success? And it said separate houses. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to bring uh, as much happiness as I possibly could to people, you know. Yeah. My mother told me one time, she said, you know, if you can make one person happy in the span of 24 hours, you've accomplished a great deal. And so maybe through my films, maybe through my actions, maybe through my craziness and everything else, I have made a few people happy, and this is the joy of my life. It, there's, nothing, there's nothing better in the world to be recognized by people and say, gee, thank you so much for the many happy hours of entertainment you've given me. Well, thank you so much for giving us your thank time you, today. Dear. It's, it's a been pleasure a great to pleasure. meet you. This is Dorothy Cassisari with NationalEnquirer.com. Check back soon for more celebrity interviews. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs>